Hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's Foster from English No Crew. Today we have another Aus. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it in. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Foster from English No Crew. Had you. Today's episode is brought to you by Cambly. Cambly is an online platform where you can find native professional teachers whenever you want, wherever you want. You can take classes in your bed. That is my favorite place to take classes. You can take classes when you're walking. That is probably my second favorite place to take classes. You have teachers from everywhere in the world with every subject. It does not matter your level, how advanced you are. Cambly has you covered. And the coolest thing is you can get your first class for free using the promotional code English no Cru Podcast. So just go to Cambly.com or download the Cambly application on your smartphone and then enter your email and the promotional code Inglés no Cru Podcast. Totally free, just free English, no credit cards, no nothing. You should do Cambly today. Isn't that right, Alexia? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Let's get on with the show. Oi, fala aí pessoal, bom dia. Você está escutando o English, 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 English Hodge. I am your host, Foster Hodge. This is your daily dose of English. Hey, Alexia, how are you doing? Hey, Foster, I'm fine. And you? I'm doing wonderfully. It's still a little bit rainy here, but less so. Yeah, it's only cloudy today. I want to go out and walk. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand the phrase cabin fever? No. That's a phrase that we use in English or an expression. It just means you have been locked up in a place for a long time and you really want to get out. It would be nice if it was like hibernation week, but it's not. Yeah. I mean, if we were bears. No, if what? we were like taking a week just for ourselves and do nothing inside the house and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, it's we not one of those weeks. People. Yeah. Cool. So, Alexia, today I kind of wanted to start a, not a series, but a group of episodes focusing on business English because a lot of our students ask for that and we both study business. I have an international MBA, you study business. <laughs> This was so <laughs> the first <laughs> You know what we call that in English? We say a humble brag. <laughs> And the look that you gave to me right now, it was ridiculous. A humble brag? Do you, do you understand that? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, if you're bragging, that means you're being arrogant, but you're trying to do it humbly. So I was trying to say really quick, well, I have an international... You do mention, uh-huh. Yeah. So what I wanted to do to start today, Alexia... This is actually a lesson that I used to do with some of my older students when I was teaching more private classes. So we have an article from Business Insider, and this article is talking about a company called Treehouse. They create online courses for like coding and development, that kind of thing. And they're doing some really interesting things with their startup. So what I was thinking today We can just read the article together, so you can read one paragraph, and we'll stop, talk about vocabulary, pronunciation, and then tomorrow, we will actually talk about what we think about the different ideas presented in the article. Perfect. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, so take it away, Alexia. You read a paragraph, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so here we go. This tech CEO and his employees only work four days a week. 
Yes, that is the title of the article. Yeah. Yeah, I have to read that. Yeah, and just normally my students in the class for some reason always skip the title. <laughs> uh, I'm an A plus student, so. Yes, you are. <laughs> Ryan Carson tried the rentless, rentless, rentless. <laughs> Ooh, good start. Peraí. Ryan Carson tried the rentless, rentless. What's that? Okay, just try to finish the paragraph, and we will continue talking about it. So try your best. Ryan Carson tried the relentless startup lifestyle when he worked for a startup design firm in London after school or after college. <laughs> oh, meu Deus! <laughs> so another great example of how even very advanced mm. students can have a lot of difficulties reading sometimes. So. First, we have the word relentless. Ah, relentless. Yes, the stress is on the middle syllable, relentless. Relentless. Do you know what that means? No idea. So, relentless means like very intense, um, very extreme. So, in this case, when they say he tried the relentless startup lifestyle, that's like he's working all the time, never stops. But you can use that in a lot of situations. Like last night, there was a big storm here, and it rained a lot. You could say, goodness, the rain is relentless. Like, mm. it's not stopping. It's really intense. Okay. Okay? Okay. He was regularly delirious with exhaustion from a few hours of nightly sleep and was frustrated with his output. He told the Washington Post in February. Perfect. Any questions about vocabulary? No. Okay. I would make one suggestion with the word regularly. Regularly. That's hard with a lot of R's. So, in general, I think Americans tend to say this really fast, and I would say regularly. Regularly. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Words with a lot of R's are difficult, but you crushed it, Alexia. <laughs> That's why he now offers the 87 employees of his company, Tree House. No, Tree House. Ooh, sorry. I was fine. <laughs> Tree House, a 32-hour, four-day week. No, four-day work week. Okay. So, that's why he now offers the 87 employees of his company, Tree House, a 32-hour, four-day work week. Excellent, excellent. So, two things. Alexia initially said three Tree house, which is like a Portuguese pronunciation. You want to say tree, tree. Yeah, ah, buddy, tree. Right, perfect. And also, could you pronounce the word company? Company? Yes, this is very similar to discover. So this is the schwa sound, o som do schwa, company. Company. Excellent. I think hard work is great, Carson told The Atlantic in a recent recent video interview. I mean, I work really hard, you know, Monday through Thursday. <laughs> nice, nice. So here we have a text that is in quotations. So imagine this is really Ryan Carson talking. So when I am reading out loud, I always recommend to my students that when you have something in quotations, you want to speak as if the person was really speaking. Mm -hmm. So I would say, I think hard work is great, Carson told The Atlantic in a recent interview. I mean, I work really hard, you know, Monday through Thursday. Um, how do I say, like, abre aspas, and then I quote? Ta -ra -ra, ta -ra -ra, ta -ra -ra. Yeah, so in English, we would just say, quote, I think hard work is great, end quote. Ah, okay. But you don't have to say that. No, I, I was just curious. Like a real journalist, yeah. Tree House is a Portland, <clears throat> Oregon based. Tree House. Tree House is a Portland, Oregon based online learning platform that offers skill based courses for a small price. Carson, who serves as CEO, founded Tree House in 2013. With the four-day work week philosophy, he gave employees at his previous company, Car Carson. That's horrible name. 
Yeah, I believe he would say Carsonified, which Car- I agree. Stupid name for a business. Carsonified in 2006. His wife and business partner, Gillian, suggested nixing Fridays since the reason they started their own business was to enjoy a better quality of life. Okay, we have a lot of information there. So first, um, we have Treehouse is a Portland, Oregon-based online learning platform. So online, can you say that for me? Online. Yeah, at first I was almost hearing aw, aw. We actually say online. Online. Perfect, perfect. Can you say skill-based? Skill-based. Excellent. A lot of our students would say skill-based, but Alexia is an (laughs) all-star. Yeah. Also, the word philosophy. Philosophy. Nice. I believe I heard philosophy. I I, I did say that. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Another interesting thing is the name Jillian. (laughs) I said Gillian. It can be either way. Ah, yeah? Yeah. So one of my favorite singers is a female singer-songwriter. Her name is Gillian Welsh. But I also hear people pronounce it Gillian. Hmm. What's nixing? That was my next point. You don't know that word? I can imagine from the what's written here, but I never heard this word. Yeah, yeah. It's not super common. So if you nix something... That means that you are forgetting about it. It's not important anymore. You're canceling it. So in this case, they say they decided nixing Fridays. That means just removing, taking away Fridays. Okay. So you could imagine a situation like, let's say, Alexia and I were going to the movies tonight, but it was raining, so we decided to nix it. Yeah. Yeah. Not a super, super common phrase at all yeah so alexia i think that is a lot of information for (laughs) this first part so tomorrow we will finish the article and then we will talk about it even more but any first reactions to just reading out loud of course i do agree with that (laughs) i would love to work less hours and super hard during these hours and have my work accomplished. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we will talk more about the actual content of the article, but I was more curious about the fact of reading out loud. Like, you are a a very advanced English speaker, and, you know, in five minutes, I could identify, like, 10 or 15 mistakes. I can say that it's the first time that I'm reading this so if I have read before, for sure I would have less um, mistakes. But yeah. it's good because I can see that I need to work. Yeah, practice helps. And one thing I would add is if you enjoy reading and you want to use reading to improve your English, then always read out loud. That's true. Cool. Arise, my love, my beloved one. <laughs> okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening to another episode of English no Kuruhaju. If you like what we do, if you want to support the show, here's what you can do. Leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Android, wherever you listen to the podcast. It really helps other people discover the show. And you can sign up for our VIP newsletter So each time we release new courses, early discounts for sound school, new worksheets, special discounts, the people on our newsletter are the first to know. So if you are interested in the things we are doing, go to EnglishNewCrew.com and sign up. And as always, keep up the good fight and lose well. Até já.